Two incredibly boring episodes of Secret Invasion have been released. They are both filled with bad writing, dumb characters, and plot contrivances everywhere. Every episode just insults Nick Fury for being old and useless over and over again. Nick Fury is no longer the stoic, calm, grizzled spy master he was in Winter Soldier. He is now very emotional, panics when responding to bad news, and makes terrible decisions a man with an average IQ would never make. He is now a man who has never accomplished anything in his life, as it turns out that it was the scrolls he used to do all of his work for him. Yes, Nick Fury is a fraud, and all of his skills are lies. It was the scrolls who did everything all along. You're a fraud. A, a total fraud. He is also now obsessed with race, which he never was in the previous movies, as he brings it up at every available opportunity, completely out of the blue. His nemesis Gravik is equally as useless of a character. He is a bad leader, kills people beneath him regardless if they are loyal or not. So it's a wonder why anybody serves him at all. He has zero charisma and his master plan is not only insane but also retarded as fuck. There is nothing about him that should inspire any loyalty whatsoever. And the actor who plays him looks completely disinterested in playing the character and would much rather be anywhere else but here. So Gravik's grand plan is to blow up the world in nuclear war. That's fucking stupid! The enormous problem with this is that the Skrulls already control most of the world. So why exactly does Gravik want to destroy the entire planet? His motivations aren't out of hatred for the human race. He just wants his own planet, which he could very easily go to as they have the technology to leave Earth. So not only does it not make sense, but Gravik is fucking stupid. Now, despite having a world-ending threat, the entire plot of the show is pointless. You can skip the show, and it won't have any effects on the movies going forward. Now, this wouldn't be such a problem if, at the very least, the quality of the show was any good, but it's not. It's dog shit. People just teleport around the world whenever they need to. We have seasoned spies acting like teenage girls, arguing over petty shit, and the overall plot of the show is retarded as fuck, so the there is nothing to look forward to. Now with all that said, I'm going to break down these dog shit episodes. It begins with a flashback to where Fury met Gravik for the first time and he promised to help him find a new world. Despite the fact that the Skrulls already have spaceships and can survive in more environments than humans can, so there is nothing stopping them from going to look for one. Why is everyone so fucking stupid? Anyway, flash forward to the present, where Nick Fury is rescued by Talos before they both get on a train heading to Warsaw. Fury randomly tells Talos that he used to eat fried chicken when he was young as he was forced to ride the colored car. Coming out of Alabama, we always had to ride in the colored car. So we brought fried chicken. Doing some crawfish out the patty, yo. Talos then tells Fury that ever since he joined up with Saber to live on their space station, that he single-handedly made the decision to invite over a million scrolls to come and live on Earth, and he did not tell a single human about it. Are you fucking stupid? So Talos clearly doesn't understand the enormous repercussions that mass immigration brings. Now, because Talos has decided to do something so selfish, everything that happens with the Skrulls is directly his fault, including Gravik killing over 2,000 people. Talos tries to justify making such a horrible decision, saying he thought that humans and Skrulls could coexist. You're a liar! You're a liar! If he actually believed that, then why the fuck did he not tell a single soul about it, and decided to smuggle them onto Earth behind everybody's back? It's because Talos did not believe this. He is full of shit and a liar. Fury is understandably annoyed by Talos causing this entire situation, but he is supposed to be a seasoned grizzled veteran who can control his emotions. So what does he do? Well, he just throws a bitch fit. Matter of fact, neither is this train compartment. I think this is just a... We then cut to Amelia Clark, who seems to be surprised by the fact that genociding the human race would require death and violence. Wow, what did you think was going to happen? So she attends a meeting with Gravik, who manages to take control over the Skrull Council. When the white dude tries to object, his goon hits him in the throat. 
But when the brown woman does, he decides to treat her with respect and let her go, probably because she is more diverse than he is. That's pretty racist, but correct. We cut back to Nick Fury, who is attending Agent Hill's funeral in Warsaw. This doesn't make any sense, because Nick Fury is supposed to be the world's most wanted man, and even the Americans don't know where he is, yet he's at one of their military funerals. That doesn't make any sense! Also, Agent Hill's mother blames Nick Fury for her death, because everything in this show is his fault. Later on, he has a secret meeting with Rhodey and tries to explain his actions. He says that although he went AWOL without telling anybody and knew all about the Skrull terrorists and didn't alert the authorities to them, which has led to the death of over 2,000 Russian people, he wants Rhodey to come out and help him as they both have melanated skin. Men who look like us don't get promoted because of who our daddies know. So let's make the power mean something. Help a brother out. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Rosie quite rightly tells him to go fuck himself. Thank you! We cut to Olivia Coleman, who meets up with the Russians as they have captured one of the terrorists who blew up the festival. Now this scroll is posing as an American to blame the US and has allowed himself to be captured and tortured because Gravik is going to rescue him later on. Before that happens, Olivia Coleman arrives to find that the Russians are interrogating him. They tell her that they have tried everything to make him talk. I don't believe you. There's barely a scratch on him. What the fuck have these people been doing this entire time? Fucking tickling him. Now, the real reason the Russians have been treating him so gently is that so Olivia Coleman can come in and show the men how it's really done. Before she tortures him, she asks where the emergency exit is, which the man tells her and the fucking scroll that it's right under his feet. Christ, who wrote this? Not only that, but they leave Olivia alone in the room with the scroll. He is supposed to be chained down, but as we have seen before, scrolls are strong enough to break steel and can destroy solid concrete. So these Russian interrogators have left a super strong alien alone in the room with a woman, in chains he can break out of, and you have told him how to escape from the facility. Why don't you just release him at this point? Luckily for them, the scroll happens to be as retarded as his interrogators are, because he forgets that he is easily capable of escaping, and instead just sits there and lets himself be tortured by Olivia Coleman. She cuts off one of his fingers and even boils his blood. Now the scroll biology makes no sense whatsoever. They can survive radiation, blood being boiled and are strong enough to break steel, yet are easily killed by a bullet. So later on, Gravik shows up to rescue the scroll, but Olivia has escaped via the hatch. When Gravik is taking the scroll back to base, he asks him if he told them anything. He says no, but Gravik doesn't believe him and kills him anyway. That's fucking stupid. If your plan was for him to be held and tortured until you rescue him, then why the fuck did you let him carry sensitive information that you did not want the authorities to know? At this point, you are just asking to be caught. Well, the episode ends as Nick Fury meets his wife. Who? Next up is episode 3, or better known as, the one that destroyed Nick Fury as a character. The episode starts with Gravik meeting up with the Skrull Council, who are still in disguise. I'm surrounded by idiots. These fucking idiots are dressed up as some of the most famous people on the planet. Surely security is going to notice that the Prime Minister of UK is constantly flying back to some random shithole in Russia. It would have made more sense for these people to have come in in another disguise before flipping back, letting the audience know who they are. Well, the writers didn't think this through and were more interested in saving money for the show rather than the implications this has. So Gravik tells them that he is going to genetically engineer every scroll to have superpowers, because that is a thing you can just do now. He also tells them that he plans to start World War 3 by using a Royal Navy submarine to blow up a UN plane. We cut back to Nick Fury, who is being lectured by his wife, because once he came back from the blip, he decided to live on a space station for reasons which we still don't know. His wife then gets a call from Rhodey and she tries to hide it from Fury, but all he does is face the other way. She doesn't even try to take it to the other room. 
After this, we cut to Talos, who has decided to have a parlay with Gravach. It's weird how the scrolls use a 17th century French word for a sit-down instead of something in their own language. So they arrive in a British museum, and Gravach points to a painting of Winston Churchill and insults him. Very subtle. Well done. They then sit down and a scene tries to be tense by having Gravik pour a lot of sugar in his espresso. Why are you just getting an empty cup? I like a little bit of espresso in my sugar. What the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck is this dialogue? It's not tense, it's embarrassing as fuck. So they argue back and forth until Talos stabs Gravik through the hands and it's revealed that he has superpowers. He leaves and Amelia Clark, in disguise, gives him the information about the submarine. So what does Talos do with this very important information? Well, he goes and has breakfast. Ah. Nick Fury then enters and says that he has information on a scroll high up in American Command. He asks for his help, but Talos throws a hissy fit and says that he will only help Fury prevent World War 3 if he apologises to him like a fucking child. So Nick Fury is forced to debase himself once again to get Talos to help him. Help me, Talos, because I am useless without you. They decide to go after the submarine and call Olivia Coleman for help, who also wants Fury to apologise to her. Does Nick Fury have to apologise to everybody in the show? Everybody acts like a teenage girl. For fuck's sake, it's going to be World War 3. Can't everybody put the petty shit aside? So Olivia goes on to give them information about the one man who can cancel the submarine launch codes. They both go to his house and they try to sneak in. Remember, these two are supposed to be the most experienced spies on the planet. Now, despite all of that experience, they end up getting caught immediately. Talos even ends up getting taken hostage. Absolutely useless. Fury uses the man's son to let him go. Now, they only have a few minutes to get the abort code from him. Nick, quite rightly, starts to torture the man to get the information, but Talos stops him. Then, two minutes later, after the man insults Talos' daughter, he kills him. What are you doing? Talos is a fucking moron. If you were going to kill him anyway, then why didn't you just let Fury torture him? I don't know. Now, if the man dead, you would assume that the abort codes are lost and they can't stop the submarine. And you are right. Luckily for them, Talos decides to call his daughter, who luckily can get her hands on the abort codes. But because of this, she ends up getting caught by Gravik and killed. His daughter's death is 100% his fault, because if he simply allowed Fury to torture the man, then he could have gotten the abort codes and not gotten his daughter killed. He has no one else to blame but himself. The episode ends with Nick Fury's wife getting a gun out of a safe and receiving a call from Rhodey, even though she wants to speak to Gravik. This best not go where I think it's going, where she ends up being Gravik's mother, because that would be fucking terrible. Fury has been absolutely destroyed as a character in this show. He is constantly told that he is old and useless, and that everything is his fault. This show is basically a six-hour struggle session, where they break down Nick Fury piece by piece until there is nothing left. Who the fuck wants to see their hero go through that? This show is boring, the writing is lazy, and the plot is dumb as fuck. 